I am very, very pleased to see you again, and I am so much excited about today's lesson. Today, we're going to study very, 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 very important lesson, which is adverbs. Oh, can you use adverbs properly in proper situation? Well, uh, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. You know, like many. Uh, other English speaking uh, people, right? Uh, well, it's not like, you know, native speakers can use the English in a grammatically correct form. You know, don't get confused or don't get it wrong. All right, and today we're going to study adverbs. 부사에 대해서 이제 공부를 하게 될 텐데요. Okay, uh, what kind of 부사 do you use a lot? Adverb 중에서? We use very. Very, very much 사용하는 것 같아요, right? So when you see some beautiful girls or beautiful women on the street, you say, they are very beautiful, okay? In case of beautiful, it is kind of a great adjective. You know, some girls are just a little beautiful, and some girls are very beautiful. It's kind of gradable, right? So according to the adverbs that you are using in front of it, oh, well, it's gradable. She's very beautiful, or she's, yeah, she's okay. She's a little beautiful. You can say that, right? But what if you saw this woman who was really, 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 really beautiful? In that case, you need another word for it, okay? Uh, what is the word? Well, in order to mean a woman who is really, 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 really beautiful, well, you can say like, oh, she's a knockout. 거의 완전히 모든 사람들을 쓰러트리는 매혹적인 attractive한 여자다. You can also say that. But, you know, by using proper adjective and proper adverbs before it, you can mean what you want to mean using just a few words. Oh, isn't it really amazing? So instead of saying like, she's very, 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 very beautiful, you can say like, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. And if you want to put some adverbs before it, extremely or absolutely is right here. So, absolutely. Okay, rip it up. The absolutely. Absolutely. You know, very goes with gradable adjectives, but absolutely goes with extreme adjectives. You have to remember that, okay? So, gorgeous. It's not just beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. Okay? So, that's gorgeous. And by putting like absolutely, you mean, you know, very, 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 very. Okay? So, extremely beautiful. Like who? Like Sarah 선생님. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like who? Uh, let me think about it. Oh, Oh, who's it? Kim Tae-hee? Um, I don't know. <laughs> it depends on you. 여러분이 좋아하시는 그 스타가 누군지에 따라서요. Okay, she's absolutely gorgeous. Hey, you know what I saw yesterday at the department store? <gasps> I saw Kim Hee-sun, and she was absolutely gorgeous. You can say that, okay? And how about good? Okay, when something is good, there are many, many ways to express something very, 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 very good. You can say like, oh, that's fantastic, right? Fantastic, excellent, marvelous, fabulous. So you can say like, excellent, marvelous. And what else is there? Fabulous and wonderful. Okay, these adjectives mean not just good or very good. It means those adjectives mean very, very, very good. And also these adjectives go together with absolutely. Repeat after me. Absolutely excellent. Absolutely marvelous. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely wonderful. So if you just say like, it's very excellent. No, no, no. Well, very is too small to modify Excellent. Excellent는 묘사하기에는 very는 너무 별로예요. <웃음> 좀 강한 게 있어야 돼요. Absolutely. So absolutely excellent. Absolutely marvelous. Okay? Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely wonderful. Okay? And, you know, something is bad. 
Oh, it can be like, oh, it's really bad. You can say that, or it's very bad, or it's very, very bad. When it comes to grade of adjective, you can put very before it. But what is an extreme form of adjective of bad? Bad is extreme adjective of bad. Something is awful. It's not just bad, it's awful. And you can say, it's extremely awful. What is extremely awful? Mm, why don't you put some tomato ketchup in your milk and taste it? It's extremely awful. And uh, put some vinegar in there. 거기다가 그 우유에다가 토마토 케첩이랑 식초를 넣고서는 mix them well, mix it well, and then why don't you drink it? 한번 마셔보세요. 어떨까? Oh, it's extremely awful. 이런 말이 나오겠죠, 그죠? And um, nice. Okay. If something is nice, you know, it's nice. 그냥 어, 그 grateable 한 adjective죠? 자, 이것을 더 좋게, 그 extreme 한 표현을 하면 fantastic. Fantastic. And fantastic goes with absolutely. Repeat after me. It's absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Good. And how about wet? Wet, 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 wet. 네, 우리 가수 그룹 이름 있죠? Wet, wet, wet. Uh, wet means 젖었다. But when you are soaked, soaking wet. 아주 그냥 흠뻑 젖었을 때는 soaking이라고 얘기하죠. So, you know, I was absolutely soaking. So I ran for 40 minutes without an umbrella. Umbrella 없이 걸었어요. In the rain, in the pouring rain, in the heavy rain. I walked without an umbrella. And I was absolutely soaked when I got home. You can say that, okay? And how about clever? Clever, 영리한 사람이죠. But clever sometimes means something negative, like, you know, 야가서, you are clever. You can say that, right? And clever, uh, clever the extreme adjective of a clever and somebody is really, really, really clever is brilliant, right? Brilliant. Okay, so I think, um, who's brilliant? I think Bill Gates is absolutely brilliant, right? Bill Gates is absolutely brilliant, brilliant and excited. You know, you're very excited if you see interesting movie, exciting movie. 재밌는 영화 보면 you are very excited. But, you know, <웃음> 만약에 러리의 당점 됐다, 그러면 how would you feel? You'll be absolutely thrilled. You don't know what to do, right? So, you're absolutely thrilled. Okay, so, 여러분 이런 얘기 하잖아요. 스릴과 서스펜스가 느껴진다, 스릴. <웃음> You are so excited. You don't know what to do, right? That is thrilled. So you are absolutely thrilled. And a surprise? Surprise is amazed. 로 바뀌면 뭐가 되면? This is an extreme adjective, right? It's amazed. I was absolutely amazed. 너무 놀란 거야. You are so surprised, and you don't know what to say. And valuable. Okay, valuable can be changed to price less. Okay, some people can get it wrong, like oh, price less. If you put less at the at, at the end of a word, it might mean uh, 뭐뭐가 없다. We don't do that in Gaia. Price less, 가격이 없다. Well, you know, you cannot actually measure the value of it because this is too precious. To measure the value of it, okay? So 가치로 따지기에는 너무 가치가 있는 거예요. In fact, you can say it's priceless. What is priceless? Our life, your life, my life, and everybody's life is absolutely priceless, right? So we can say that. 얼마를 줘도요. 우리 목숨가는 못 받고 그냥 you would not exchange with your life, you know, whatever is offered to you, right? How about um? One million one. One million dollars? No? How about the whole world? Would you, ex would you exchange your life with the whole world? You wouldn't. I know that. So that's why it is called priceless. So your life and my life 
in everybody's life is absolutely priceless. And why don't we go to this one? Small, small, small. And you know, if something is very, 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 very small, it is really tiny. Tiny, absolutely tiny. What is absolutely tiny? Oh, this powder, powder from the chalk. Well, I cannot see them, you know, individual particles of it. It's, you know, absolutely tiny. So I cannot count how many particles are here on my fingers. So, 제 그, 분필 파우더가 있는지 모르겠어요. Absolutely tiny. 너무 작잖아요. 그죠? Maybe I need a microscope to see them. All right. And, okay, let me put like tiny. And silly, 멍청해요. And you know, silly people do ridiculous things, right? So ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. 말도 안 돼. That's ridiculous. And funny, ha 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 ha. Funny is a ha 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 ha. But ha, that's hilarious. Okay, so hilarious. And you know, absolutely hilarious. Uh, is Mr. Bean funny or hilarious? I think, um, 저는요, 뭐 개인적으로 Mr. Bean은요, I think he's funny. But when it comes to Jim Carrey, I think he's hilarious. Have you ever seen him make faces? 얼굴 막 이렇게 막 표정 지는 거 보셔서 he's hilarious. <laughs> so he's absolutely hilarious. Okay, and interesting. Interesting? Interesting은 뭐랑 바꿨을 수가 있을까요? You can say like fascinating. 자, 이래서 더 강하게 표현할 수 있겠죠? So, very, very, very interesting 대신에 It's, it's absolutely fascinating. Okay, pleased. You can say like delighted. Or you can use a thrill here again. And how about big? Enormous or huge? My dog Bobby is enormous. But not just enormous, it's as big as an elephant. And in that case, you can say, my dog Bobby is absolutely enormous, okay? Enormous. Or huge. Huge. 보신 적 있어요? 막 강아지인데요. 개인데요. 송아지만 해요. 어, 그런 개를 어떻게 키운 줄 모르겠어요. Anyway, I don't like dogs. But do you like dogs? Well, you know, some, some of you do, right? But I don't like that, you know, absolutely huge dogs. 이런 것들은 키우기가 좀 힘들 것 같아요. Okay, anyway, so, um, 노란색으로 쓴 것은요, these adverbs, uh, no, these adjectives go together, go well with absolutely. But, uh, white로 되어진 이 adjective은요, 그냥 보통, 보통 그 정도를 나타내는 그런 형용사들이 되겠죠. very랑 같이 어, 쓰여진다라는 거를 기억을 하시면 되겠습니다. Okay? Okay. Wow. 잘 구분하셨죠? And then, 어, 그러면요, 우리 3번으로 가서요, 어, 정말 실질적인 conversation에서 how they are used in actual conversation, why don't you find it out there? Okay? Okay! Okay, good idea. And uh, we go to number one. Number one으로 가보도록 하겠습니다. How did you get very cold in that snowstorm? Okay? So, did you get very cold? Did you get very cold? Oh, 추웠나요? Did you get very cold in the snowstorm? Snowstorm! It was a blizzard. We were absolutely freezing. You can say that, right? What is the difference between snowstorm and blizzard? You know, from the context, you get to know that blizzard is just, uh, you know, a little snow and wind. But when it comes to blizzard, oh, it's very cold, extreme, extreme cold with strong wind and snow. That is blizzard, okay? 그러니까 강한 것이 그래서 blizzard가 되겠죠. So, uh, 추웠니? Cold? Cold is not enough to uh, express yourself, how you felt, okay? 어떻게 느꼈는지를 그 설명하기 위해서는 cold is not enough. You have to use this word freezing. 을 사용을 해야 되겠죠. Right? So we were absolutely freezing. Why don't we go to number two? I bet you're pretty excited when your team won. Okay. Well, um, after years of losing uh, the game or championship whatsoever, uh, 뭐 championship이나 아니면 뭐 게임에서 몇년 동안 지다가 if you finally win, how would you feel? 
어떻게 느끼겠어요? 아주 그냥 그몇년 동안 고생하다가 한번딱 이겼어요. In that case, 그럴 때는요. Uh, I bet you are pretty excited. Pretty excited? Excited is not enough word. Not a good word to express your feelings for that. Right? 어떻게 해야 됩니까? In that case. Excited가 뭐야? We were absolutely thrilled. <laughs> thrilled might be the proper word there. Okay, why don't we listen to this number one and number two together? Did you get very cold in that snowstorm? Snowstorm? It was a blizzard. We're absolutely freezing. I bet you were pretty excited when your team won. Excited? We were absolutely thrilled. Well, 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 in a daily conversation, you can use these words when just, you know, the usual words that you use is not enough. You have to find out extreme adjectives like this. Okay, number three and four. Number three, I thought she looked kind of silly in that flowered hat. Okay, uh, flowery hat 하면은 뭐 꽃이 이렇게 달린 그런 모자. 그거 썼는데 완전 silly 해 보인대요. 어, 어떡해요. 그녀가 들으면 정말 기분 나빠하겠는걸요. And, oh, uh, 근데 한술 더 떴어. Silly. She looked absolutely ridiculous. 이렇게 얘기해야 되겠죠. So, silly 한 거는 that is not enough. 충분하지 않아요. 그 상황을 설명하기에는. 그럴 때는 in that case you can say, oh, she is absolutely ridiculous. You can say that. Uh, how about number four? Come on, nobody will notice. 아무도 모를 거야. That tiny pimple on your nose. Tiny, teeny, very small. It's absolutely small. You can say that, right? So, not noticeable. 그렇게 뭐 인식이 잘 되지 않을 만큼 조그마다는 그런 얘기가 되겠죠. 자, 그런데요. 그 코에 뭐 나면은요. 거울 계속 보게 되고 짜게 되고 뭐 이러잖아요, right? And uh, you can say like, oh, it's big, it's very big, but 그거보다 더 크다고 느껴지면요. I think she's kind of paranoid. 약간 지금 편집증적인 증세도 있는 것 같은데. Anyway, it's absolutely enormous! Uh, 이렇게 얘기할 수 있겠죠. Okay, so why don't we listen to these two dialects? Three and four. I thought she looked kind of silly in that flowery hat, didn't you? Silly? She looked absolutely ridiculous. Come on, nobody will notice that tiny pimple on your nose. They will. I just know they will. It's absolutely enormous. Absolutely enormous. <laughs> 네, 사실 그 10대 때는요, they care too much about their appearance, right? 근데 이제 나중에 나이가 들면, people do not care that much about your appearance. 이걸 알게 되면은, uh, people이 크든 작든 상관없이 다니죠. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. And why don't we go to number five together? Number five. Uh, I thought the last episode of Friends was absolutely hilarious. Oh, uh, did you see the last episode of Friends? Oh, uh, well, personally, I like, you know, episode three and episode four. But as time goes by, uh, the story is not good. You know, I don't, I don't think it's hilarious at all. 왜냐면 친구들끼리 막 꼬여가지고요 이야기가 너무 재미없게 끝으로 가시로 그렇더라고요. 그래서 아 빨리 끝나야 되겠구나. That's what I thought at that time. But anyway, 어, 여기서 이제 첫 번째 사람이 I thought the last episode of Friends was absolutely, absolutely hilarious, right? 하하하하 <웃음> 너무 너무 재밌었대요. Uh, but the person who hears this does not agree. 동의하지 않죠. 어, 뭐라고 했냐? Hmm, I wouldn't say that. Oh, 글쎄, it was pretty funny. Funny as a gradable adverb, right? A adjective, right? Gradable adjective죠. 그냥 funny, 그냥 웃기긴 했어. It was pretty funny. 그냥 웃기기는 했지만, but not hilarious. Ah, 이렇게 웃을 정도는 아니었다라는 그런 얘기가 되겠죠. And let's go to number six, the last one. Len laughed early. He wasn't feeling well. He wasn't feeling well is just a moderate expression. And how can we change it into an extreme expression? Oh, I saw, he, I saw him this morning. He looked absolutely awful. Feeling bad? Didn't feel well? No, he didn't, you know, feel. He was absolutely awful. He looked absolutely awful. 정말 끔찍하게 보였다. So not just bad, but awful. 하게 보였다라는 그런 얘기죠. 한 단계 그 올려서 awful이라는 표현을 썼네요. 음, 굉장히 아팠나 본데요. Okay, why don't we listen to these two dialects?
I thought the last episode of Friends was absolutely hilarious. Hmm, I wouldn't say that. It was pretty funny, but not hilarious. Len left early. He wasn't feeling well. I'm not surprised. When I saw him this morning, he looked absolutely awful. Well, uh, now why don't we focus on the adverb pretty. Uh, if pretty is used as an adjective, girls might like it. Because if you say, wow, you are pretty, you put that on this channel, right? But when pretty is used as an ad adverb, it means very, right? So, wow, you are pretty ugly, <laughs> right? When pretty is used as an adverb, adverb 부사로 쓰였을 때는 매우 못생겼다, 어글리가 끝에 붙을 수도 있습니다. So, you have to listen to the end of the sentence. Anyway, here we're going to focus on pretty as an adverb. But, you know, according to the intonation, I think it's appl it applies, this principle applies to every sentence. 어떻게 intonation을 처리하냐에 따라서, the meaning can be totally different, right? This is the same case here. So if you look at uh, number one, A, she's pretty smart, B, she's, she's pretty smart, okay? 어떻게 발음을 해야지? 어떤 의미를 그 자아낼 수가 있을까요? 오케이 okay. 일단 이두 가지를 다른 억양으로 얘기하는 거 들어보시고요. 어떤 뜻인지 한번 구분해 보실래요? 오케이, okay. listen. She's pretty smart. She's pretty smart. 어, oh, 예. Yeah. Right. <웃음> 네, 아시겠어요? 첫 번째는요. She's pretty smart. The second one was She's pretty smart. 오케이, okay. so uh, first one, she's pretty smart. Pretty was stressed, right? Pretty was emphasized. If pretty was a stress or drawn out, it means not very. Okay? It's very funny. 웃기죠? 그죠? 아, 근데 pretty가 강조가 되면 그다지 그닥 그렇지 않다. 라는 그런 표현이에요. So, she's pretty smart. 하면, 어, 뭐, 그냥 뭐, 똑똑하지 뭐. 이런 식의 그 마지못해서 이렇게 인정하는 듯한 그런 억양이다. 라고 보시면 되겠습니다. 두 번째는요. She's pretty smart. 여기서 중요한 거는 smart가 중요하잖아요. 그러니까 pretty를 강조를 하되 smart가 더 중요한 거야. So she's pretty smart means she's very smart. Okay? Can you tell the difference? So based on the explanation that I gave you, can you distinguish the the, the two on number two? Number two에 있는 A 하고 B를 좀 구분해 보시겠어요? 한번 들어보겠습니다. He's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice and He's pretty nice. Oh. <laughs> 네. 어, 아시겠죠? 첫 번째가 positive예요. So, uh, he's pretty nice. He's pretty nice. Nice가 강조가 됐을 때는 아, 이것이 바로 진짜 very nice 뜻이죠. 근데 비는요. He's pretty nice. Uh -huh. 이렇게 drawn, drawn out 이렇게 되어지면 어 그래 뭐 좋게 하지 이런 식의 약간 좀 믿고는 듯한 그런 뜻이다 라는 걸 기억하시면 되겠습니다. 그래서 pretty의 강조가 됐다. Pretty was emphasized here. Pretty was stressed and in that case not very, not very nice 의 뜻이라는 걸 기억하시면 되겠습니다. Okay, 자, why don't we listen to even longer sentence, okay? Uh, if you go to number five, 더긴 sentence들이 우리를 기다리고 있는데요, okay? Why don't we uh, listen to number one and number two? Number one and number two를 한번 들어보시고요. 컨텍스트 상에서 그리고 억양으로 한번 구분해 보도록 하겠습니다. So we are listening. We are we are listening to number one and number two. Okay. The movie was pretty interesting. You really should go and see it. The movie was pretty interesting, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, 여기서는요. Okay. Uh, without the intonation, you can get the meaning because uh, there is some explanation afterwards. But when it comes to number one, the movie was pretty interesting. Interesting was emphasized, so it means very interesting, right? So the movie was very interesting. You really should go and see it. See? 가서 진짜 봐라, right? So 강추, I strongly recommend the movie to you, right? How about number two? The movie was pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. 
All right? So when pretty is emphasized and a little drawn out, interesting, and something like that, that means it was not very interesting. So, see, if you, if you look at the letter part of it, but I wouldn't recommend it. So, 강추가 아니잖아요. 강추도 아니고 추천도 아니고 아무것도 아니죠. 그죠? So, 별로 그냥 그냥 그래. 라는 그런 표현이죠. Why don't we go to number three and four together? No, no. 다시, number one, two. 다시 한번 들어볼게요. The movie was pretty interesting. You really should go and see it. 긍정적인 거? And negative. The movie was pretty interesting, but I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay? And now let's go to number three and four. The three and four, I'm pretty tired after the last game. The I'm pretty tired. 요 부분이요. 제가 일부러 어각을 안 넣었거든요. I am pretty tired. 네, 이게 어떻게 발음돼야지 positive고 어떻게 발음돼야지 negative인지 한번 구분해 볼까? Okay, why don't we listen to number three and four together? I'm pretty tired after that last game. Should we call it a day? I'm pretty tired. But I'm up for another game if you are. Okay. <laughs> well, when it comes to number two, I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty tired. Tired was emphasized. That means this person is really, really tired, right? So uh, why don't we look at the... Why, why don't you continue reading that? I'm pretty tired after the last game. 마지막 게임 하고 니까 너무 피곤한데. Shall we call it a day? What does call it a day mean? Uh, 오늘, can we, shall we wrap it up here? 여기서 끝내면 안 될까요? 라는 그런 표현이 되겠죠. Okay? And uh, number four is, I'm pretty tired. Not very tired. Pretty, pretty was emphasized. And I'm pretty tired. Not very tired. So, I'm up for another game if you are. Uh, I'm up for it. I'm, uh, I want to. 하고 싶다. 뭐할 마음이 있다. 라는 그런 표현이죠. So, I'm up for another game if you are. If you are up for another game, I'm up for another game. So, well, uh, I have this willingness to play another game if you have the willingness to. Okay? 그래서 하고 싶은 마음이 있으면, 기꺼이 하, 하려는 그런 마음이 있으면 나도 하겠다. 라는 그런 표현이 되겠죠. Okay. All right. So, Oh, wow. So these adverbs, 이 adverbs도 굉장히 그 여러 가지 그 intonation에 따라서 좀 달라진다라는 거. Pretty 같은 게 가장 typical example. And we studied the adverb of absolutely today. Okay? Well, uh, it's time for us to wrap it up. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> no, not very tired. <laughs> because I'm always happy to be with you. But I think it's almost time for us to wrap it up. We have to call it a day here at the studio. So I need to say bye. Are you going to promise me that you're going to come back next time? Okay, promise, promise. Bye.